Hi friends, we're here in the kitchen again and I just want to share a really simple dessert recipe with you. Actually, it can have only two ingredients, dates and walnuts, which I really like. I don't know if you've ever had just a date with a walnut. Oh, it's so good. I really, really enjoy it. But other people have, have known, and my grandma used to make these little date nut balls. And you can actually just do dates and nuts, walnuts, or you can even throw in some pecans, you can throw in some raisins. Uh, dried fruit is really high in iron, lots of vitamins and minerals as well, and they're very, very sweet. So it kind of helps with that sweet tooth that sometimes we get sometimes. And nuts, especially walnuts, I call them brain food because they're so high in fiber, they're so high in lots of antioxidants, and uh, omega-3s are a very, very big thing that we get from walnuts. So it's all really, really healthy. It's sweet and they taste good. So when my grandma used to make them, she would make them very chunky. And I really like that text texture. I have known other people to make them a lot finer and ground up in the uh, food processor. So you can do it to your liking. But it's really just one cup of dried fruit and equal parts of nuts. So we're gonna pack those in there. You can throw in some raisins if you want to add a little bit of something else in there. And then the same part, nuts. I'm going to do mostly walnuts because I really, really like dates and walnuts. I'm going to throw a few pecans in there too, just for a little variety. Like I said, you can add other nuts, cashews or peanuts. We throw them in the blender and we just pulse it until it's the sticky consistency that we like. And then because of the dates, let me see how that is. Yeah, if you like them chunky, then this is gonna work for you. I really, really like the chunks. Texture I found is a big thing for me. Anyways, you just mush them. Because of the sticky date, you mush them together and you have little balls. Some people roll them in shredded coconut, a really fine coconut. You could um, also roll them in almond meal and they stick together just like that. If you like it less chunky and more fine, then you just turn your food processor on until it gets to the consistency that you really enjoy. So they're sweet, they're yummy, and they're so healthy for you. So I hope you'll try this recipe out. I'm gonna have some more. If you want to find these recipes, go to my food blog, amyshappytummy.blogspot.com. You'll find this and some other recipes that you might enjoy there. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.